Hi guys, I'm Shmi, and today I'm in Berlin at the IFA, one of the world's largest tech shows. Now you probably know I'm also a bit of a technology guy. I used to be into gadgets in a very big way, and it's one of the things that got me into shooting supercar videos in the first place, because I was really into cameras and the whole editing side. So I've often used Sony products. I've had a whole load of Sony laptops. I use Sony handy cams and action cams for my videos, and although I never had any formal arrangement or agreement with Sony, they did come across this content I had been creating and invited me to become Come a little bit more part of it. So we're going to be taking a look around today at some of the new cameras and products they have released, as well as the Z5 and the Z5 Compact, the new phones. So it's pretty cool to be here and get a first glance at some of this new stuff. So let's take a look around. Walking in then, this is a bit different. Obviously I've been to many motor shows, but never to a tech show. So it's pretty cool that Sony have invited me to come down. As a tech geek at heart, it's great to get a first glance and sort of hands on with some of their latest products. Over here, we've got all of the 4K televisions. To the left, we've got the high-res audio systems, Walkmans and headphones, Volkswagen Golf GTI, with Sony audio system as well there, keep it on the car theme. At the back, we've got the cameras, the handy cams, action cams, we'll get over there. And we'll start off, I think, with the new phones, the Z5, Z5 Compact, and the Z5 Premium. As you may know, my previous phones were the Sony Xperia Z1, then the Z1 Compact, more recently the Z3 Compact, so I think it's quite likely I'm going to end up with a Z5 Compact. But I'm joined now by Jao from Sony Global Marketing Team, who's going to tell us a little bit about these new phones. So what I have here is Xperia Z5, our next generation uh, flagship smartphone, with the next generation of smartphone camera, with a 23 megapixel camera, with the world's fastest autofocus, allowing you to capture those special moments for the first time with only one shot. Okay, that's very helpful for me because I take a lot of photos on the move of cars. Yeah, so. that's yeah, that's fantastic. So moving objects is actually the main benefits from this camera. So it allows you to capture in the in the highest detail possible. What we also have is a new design language as you can see with frosted glass on the back and the new power button and now we integrate a fingerprint sensor uh, here so it is very convenient as you can see with only just one click you can unlock your smartphone and of course we keep the up to two days uh, battery uh, uh, promise which is uh, uh, exclusive to uh, uh, Xperia smartphones. Yep. If we move here we have Xperia Z5 Compact which is an uncompromised compact Android smartphone. So everything you have on Xperia Z5, you also have on Xperia Z5 Compact. Great. Last but not least, we are presenting Xperia Z5 uh, Premium, the world's first 4K smartphone. And right. this, what you can do with this, you can enjoy entertainment, videos, photos, with uh, the highest possible quality, 4K quality, and this means four times full HD resolution. So all the videos I'm shooting in 4K, you can watch them back on that phone. And not only that, actually you can upscale your photos and videos to 4K. So let's say you're watching okay. a YouTube video in HD or full HD, we will upscale it to 4K quality. Fantastic. Fantastic. Lynn, thank you very much. Thank you. After phones, let's jump straight into the action cams because I'm often asked why I shoot my videos with action cams as opposed to, say, GoPros or another rival. And there is one very major reason, and that is this the steady shot. So picture the two action cams we have here on the bike, which are bobbling around just like they do in a car. Car suspension a lot of movement. This is the demonstration of the difference. So the camera without steady shot versus the camera with steady shot. And that combined with the audio is the main reason why I shoot on action cams. And in particular, I use these two cameras. I have an X1000V, which shoots in 4K. And I also have an AS200, which is the slightly smaller model camera. Um, and these, uh, you can have it with the uh, remote as well, the viewfinder, uh, which makes lining up your shots a little bit easier. So I use these two for all my in-car videos. You know, if I'm shooting myself or shooting forwards, I'm filming on those. And they also offer now the uh, Action Cam Mini as well, though I haven't tried one of those yet, but hopefully will in the future because it will allow me to carry a few more cameras around with me and get extra shots. And this is the Play Memories app where you can line up your shots. So whenever I'm shooting a video, I line up my shot with the Action Cam. Um, you know, I point the camera in the car wherever I want it, then I go to my phone and check that they're pointing in the right location just so it's all done right. And over here we have all the accessories, so I'm normally filming with this, with the suction mount, uh, and that's what I use. Or if I do a point of view video, it's with the strap that you see around the helmet there. But there's a whole load of other things you can have as well, handlebars, um, different sort of handle grips, 
um, or the waterproof cases, although I don't think we're about to have a world where I'm going to be filming supercars on the water. That might happen one day. Um, so that's what I use for action cams. Let's go check out handy cams. Just for fun here, we've got an action cam mini on the roof of a radio-controlled Range Rover. Yeah. Off it goes. First thing here. After that distraction then, we're back to the cameras and I'm going to be joined by Alex who's going to tell us a little bit more hello. about the handicaps. Okay, hello. So um, here is our um, FDR AX33. This is actually a 4K uh, camcorder model uh, shooting in an uh, amazing uh, bitrate, 100 megabit per second. So and This is the camera I use sometimes. This is a perfect uh, camera for um, shooting um, videos, um, let's say for instance um, sport videos, um, car videos, because it has an um, integrated uh, stabilizer called the uh, Balance Optical Teleshot, which uh, creates uh, shaky free uh, videos, so perfect camera for anyone who wants to do this type of, um, of uh, shooting. We've got the same model uh, with a built-in uh, um, projector, which um, allows you to uh, project your videos on a wall or any uh, flat surface with a very high uh, brightness of uh, 50 lumen. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've tested that before. I shot a video of a car and I took the projector on the camera I'm using right now and projected the same video back onto the bonnet. Yeah. And everybody around was, was yeah, 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 yeah. It was in Casino Square in Monaco. Usually when you try it, you like it. You love yeah. it, yeah. Good fun. Um, and the two others we're looking at? Yeah. So um, this is a camera which has a bigger sensor, one inch sensor, which allows you to do more um, cinematic effect. Uh, as you can see on the screen, um, this kind of camera allows you to have a nice um, bokeh effect, so shallow depth yeah. of field, so very artistic cine cinematic uh, kind of effect. Um, In a sort of consumer style camera. Consumer style camera, but still very good for 4K with a 100 megabit per second uh, bitrate, so perfect camera. Yeah. For the, for the more professionals, a little more bit more advanced We've got our uh, AX1 uh, Handicam uh, camcorder. This is a camera which has um, all the technical um, settings um, that can be done manually. So it's still 4K. It has even higher bitrate, 150 megabit per second. And it has all the connections for microphones, for torch, um, which are suitable for more professional uh, users. OK, awesome. Thank you to the digital still cameras and I'm joined by Ben who's going to talk us through these two. So what we've got here is the RX10 Mark II and the RX100 Mark IV. These two cameras have an amazing sensor inside them which is a stacked CMOS sensor. The RX10 Mark II has more zoom, options for accessories. The RX100 Mark IV has the same capability but in a camera you can fit in the pocket. And what's amazing about this is the slow motion capability. Now this can shoot up to 40 times slow motion. So quickly moving cars, all of a sudden brought down to a snail's pace and you can see every little bit of the action I'm already, in your video. I'm already imagining a burnout or a drift or something. That would look pretty special. Well you capture everything with that. Not only the slow motion movie, it can shoot up to 16 frames per second stills. You can film yourself with a selfie, 180 degree tilt LCD. It's even got a built-in OLED viewfinder. The standout thing on this really is that slow motion. All right, let's do a demonstration. Well, that is then 40 times real speed, 1,000 FPS super slow motion. And you can film on the RX100 in 4K, the action cams, the handy cams in 4K, clearly the way forward. Uh, then you could even go and watch it back on your Z5 Premium 4K phone we showed earlier. Or if I keep coming through, we can get to the televisions. And well, these days I sometimes upload YouTube videos in 4K. You could watch them on your TV. And here we've got the granddaddy of the televisions, or the hypercar of the TV world, like the Veyron, as you will, 85-inch 4K Ultra HD TV. 
imagine watching back one of the videos I've shot, like when I went around Spa with Adrian Suttle in the Koenigsegg 1 to 1. I'd love to watch that back on that television, it would look amazing. We've also got the new technology this year, high dynamic range. You can see the colours and everything really, really vibrant on the new TV. I would, yeah, love to see some pretty cool car shots. So hopefully I'll be able to shoot more and more with 4K as time goes by and watch it back on the TVs. I think I'm going to have one last pop over to the gaming corner. Now that was a ridiculously cool experience. The Morpheus sort of add-on for the PlayStation 4, the virtual reality experience, that was truly mind-boggling. You're so immersed in it, I can't wait for that to come out. That will be really, really cool. The one last place I haven't been yet to check today on the Sony stand is the audio, the high-res audio system. And, uh, well, what are we on? Bright colored new headsets. Match with a supercar, why not? Green. Goes with the McLaren. And so we have uh, the Walkmans. <laughs> All upgraded, of course, new year. New tech, new systems. I'm going to wrap up there. A strange video for me, though, not featuring any supercars. But if you're like me and you like nice cars, you're probably a fan of nice technology as well. So wonderful of Sony to have me down here visiting their booth at IFA in Berlin 2015, taking a look around at some of the new stuff like the Z5, the Z5 Compact that I'll almost certainly pick up, and having a look also at the action cams and handy cams, the stuff I'm using to film these videos that I upload to YouTube. And of course, I've got some exciting stuff maybe in the works with Sony, which is going to result in some cool videos for you guys to watch so I'm very excited about all of that going forward but yeah overall pretty awesome for me to come down check out the press days here at IFA something I haven't been able to do before in a different world the technology world rather than just supercars so I hope you enjoyed that thank you very much for watching make sure you check out in the description down below links to some of the products that I've shown you you'll find all of that right down there and also some videos over on Sony's YouTube channel as well but that's it for me here at the Sony stand at IFA I'll catch up with you again very soon cheers <laughs>